Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Monroe Laser Engraving and I'm back. Uh, we're through coronavirus. The shop is still here and I'm feeling really good about where we're going. Uh, so I want to get back to making videos as fast as possible. You guys have left so many comments on the videos that I uploaded and I was like, holy crap, maybe we should make more. So we're going to. Uh, and we're going to start with a really popular question from the comments section of the how to engrave gold with a fiber laser video asking how you manage and save new parameters and things like that. So we're gonna jump onto the computer and I'm gonna show you guys how to deal with parameters in EasyCAD. Uh, should be pretty straightforward and uh, hopefully you guys get a lot of value out of this. So let's jump over to the computer and take a look. Hey guys, so it's time to knock this out. It's gonna be really straightforward. It shouldn't take a long time and you're gonna walk away knowing how to deal with params in EasyCAD. So I've gone ahead and removed my parameters. So there's no more parameters on my copy of EasyCAD right now. Uh, we're starting completely fresh and we're gonna make up a couple parameters and then I'm gonna show you where they're saved and that's that. So uh, the first thing we need to do is come over here and uncheck use default param. Uh, we don't want that. So we're gonna uncheck that. And now we can see all of our different parameters that we have uh, here for our different settings for our laser. Uh, and the first thing that we want to do is just change some of them. So we'll just say mark loop 12 works great and a speed of 560, whatever, uh, 20, 20, 230, 23 power, uh, 20 frequency. Let's pretend for a minute that's a real setting and we love it. It's our best setting and we're gonna use it all the time. So what we want to do is we want to come down here to select param from library and we're going to hit this button right here current param save as that'll save what we have in this box right over here as a new parameter so we can go ahead and click that and we give it a name my favorite param and hit ok and uh, now it's there that's it it's in our parameters file and uh, it's good to go so if we hit ok here um, we'll just go back to default and uh, now we've reloaded our default parameter so how do we load in our favorite one uh, the next time we want to use it so we'll just come here from select param from library so we're going to give that a click and my favorite param is right here that's our parameter we saved now watch over here in our parameters uh, when we hit ok it's going to pop that right back into place so um, that's how you save parameters into a parameter library. It's really, really straightforward uh, and, and super easy to do. Um, if we want to delete a parameter, we can do that there. Uh, the other thing we can do is let's say, so we have our default. Let's say we use our default parameter for nothing. We never use it. Uh, it's not really good for anything, but our favorite one we, we use pretty regularly, maybe all the time, maybe every time. Uh, we're going to just come down here to select uh, param from library again and we're going to select our favorite one and we're going to hit apply to default. And it'll ask you if you're sure you want to override your default and we're going to hit OK. So we're going to come up here and we're going to select our default parameter now and when we hit OK we're going to see by checking this box now our default parameter is our favorite parameter. Uh, so that is locked in now. Uh, that means we don't have access to the original default anymore. So only set that if you're really, really sure. So the next thing I wanna do with you guys really quick is just show you where that parameter file is located. So the first thing you need to do is know where your EasyCAD folder is. For a lot of you guys, it'll be on your desktop. Um, for me, I keep it in Google Drive. I keep it right here, EasyCAD 2. Um, because we do have a couple machines, so by keeping it on drive, my libraries sync up all across my different machines, and I just uh, run a shortcut to the desktop, so we right-click here and uh, send it to the desktop as a shortcut, and then I'm always opening the software from within drive, and I always have access to the same parameters, so pro tip. Um, but what we're looking for inside the EasyCAD 2 folder is this parameter folder right here. Um, when we open that up, we've got two files. Uh, they have to go wherever they're gonna go together. So let's say you wanna create a backup, you would select both and you could either send them to a zip file um, or copy them and physically move them out uh, to wherever you wanna back them up. Um, so I'll show you, uh, we'll demonstrate this now. So I'm gonna close EasyCAD and we're gonna go ahead and grab these and delete them. And these are my two that I moved out for the demonstration of this video. So we're going to just copy these and drop them back in. 
And when we relaunch EasyCAD, you'll see that I have all of the parameters that I had moved off previously to record this video. Uh, it takes just a, a minute to load up here, so we're just going to wait a second. And there we go. So now if I uncheck Use Default, we can hop into the parameter library, and there's all of my different settings right where I left them before recording. So uh, managing parameters, super easy. Anyone can do it. It only takes a couple seconds to learn. If you have any questions, ask me down in the comments below. I'd be happy to help you out. One other thing that I wanted to mention is I'm starting a Patreon page to try to get the channel going, give it a little juice, uh, get everybody excited. So one of the things I'm going to be offering on the Patreon is uh, every week we are going to add a new parameter setting to the Patreon page for our Patreon subscribers. So if you subscribe to the Patreon, uh, I will have one of these parameters in there waiting for you right now. And every week you stay subscribed uh, to the Patreon, you'll get a new setting um, because a lot of people have been asking me for my parameters. I think that's a great way to do it where I get a little love for uh, doing the, the legwork and uh, you guys get the parameters you're looking for. So um, I think that that is really cool. So if you want access to these parameters, go sign up for the Patreon. There's a link down below in the uh, description there and I think that just about covers everything we need to know about this thanks so much for watching guys I really do appreciate it uh, we have some links down in the description below to purchase some of the equipment we use here in the shop and more is coming so we're gonna have a ton more stuff uh, and those are all affiliate links so if you purchase something using one of those links help support me the channel the shop uh, all of that so take a look at those below also there is a link to the new patreon page where i just mentioned we're going to start sharing some of our uh, easy cad parameters and uh, probably some of the co2 parameters too if you use a similar wattage uh, co2 machine those are going to be really helpful for you so if you'd like to get access to those um, go ahead and sign up for the patreon there's a link in the description it's really bare bones right now i will be improving it uh, as we go but i wanted to get something up for the release of this video Again, if you have any questions at all, uh, drop me a comment below. If you got value out of this video, please subscribe, uh, join me. I'm gonna be posting a lot more uh, nice and regularly for you guys. I've got a lot of information that I wanna share with you. Uh, so I'm gonna start producing those videos so that uh, you, can, you can join me on the ride and maybe we can uh, learn a little something about lasers together. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.